Raffia handbags and RO markled. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you everyone for liking and subscribing and hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you and welcome. I've got a show and tell today. Um, this, I don't like reading on Markle at the best of times, okay? However, a couple of things really got to me this week and one of them was about the exploitation of uh, the Rafa. Oh, raffia, we say raffia, I say raffia, basket weaving. Now, I actually did a course on Mother's Day. It was a special that um, I got on Mother's Day and I went and studied with our Indigenous First Nation people and they taught me their way, which is um, I'll put it on the screen and, and this is the result of it, okay? It's very, very, very small. Um, it's, it's rickety. As you can see, it's rickety because it was my first one, but I'm really, really proud of it. Okay, you will be able to see on the drop down all the stages. I did do a full day course, okay, and I stayed up until probably about midnight that night, and I didn't finish it until about 24 hours afterwards, maybe even a little bit later for something this small. Now, um, I'm not too sure how to explain the size of it um but my uh let's just say my incense holder which is a classic sauce chopstick kind of thing fits inside of it okay that's how small it is so i will put it away now <laughs> my show and tell and work on where she's going where she's going with this i do know that with this um these handbags these hand woven handbags they have um uh been discovered by a plus listers like gwyneth paltrow and whatever um uh, and this was a you know a while back and she walked in with one of them when she was trying to catch cameron diaz at the sushi bar and whatever so where we're going with this is why are we why are we doing this as well as as well as cards aria she's markled her own her own her own brand not only has she now bought um uh exploitation to um the basket weavers that you know have admitted that since they you know these these other two people that are involved apparently there's only two employees um that she's getting money and she's a head weaver um but that's not the point i mean for michael to now uh, you know bring it to my attention to me i see that complete exploitation doesn't matter who's behind it yeah, they need to walk away. They need to walk away, definitely. Um, not not the weavers, not the weavers, but they need they actually need to be paid more. Because when you have a look at the price of those baskets, for how long, which was hence my show and tell, for how long it takes them to make and they are beautiful baskets, they're nowhere near, you know, the, the hen's teeth of my sewing or anything like that. They are beautiful baskets, how long it takes them you know, to colour code and dye and uh, dye the the, um, the strands. I think they're flax or, you know, along those lines. Um, well, in, in Australia and New Zealand, they're flax anyway. Um, to dye them to, you know, uh, they need to be paid a lot more by these rich and famous. They really do, you know. Um, complete exploitation. I'll say allegedly in entertainment purposes only, but I'll guarantee that those um, those weavers in Rwanda, they are not getting the money, nowhere near the money of what they're entitled to if they were working in the Western world. Nowhere near. And and to me, that's wrong. That's wrong on so many levels. On an even funnier subject is that not only has she now marked these poor darlings, you know, that are working hard and, and, and are making a life for themselves in, um, well, let's just say a third world country that's in poverty, right? Her brand, her brand, 
trademark has said, yeah, no, you can't use, you can't, you can't trademark a landmark, basically. American Riviera is a landmark, and oh, and by the way, that scribble of a logo, yeah, that's not working either. So let's just find out what the story is. Okay, King of Pentacles, Hangman, Strength, Reverse, Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Mm-hmm. Well, you've got the King of Pentacles here. Um, even though Harry's only 40, I think she still thinks that he's got some sort of money behind him. And I'm calling it Harry. I know a lot of people are saying that it's Charles Spencer. It, it, not according to my previous readings. He doesn't want to have anything to do with her or her brand, okay? Um You've got strength here. It's just reverse. You've got someone that really doesn't give a rat, literally, okay, doesn't care, not doing the one tear left eye. She's not doing that. She's not, she's not staying up at night, but he is. He's worried about this, and it's some sort of plan. She's definitely working hard on her plan, and she's just hanging around for something. I really do believe she's hanging around for when he becomes... You know, what, money. What The King of Pentacles is extremely rich, right? Extremely, extremely rich. So why is, she, why is she doing all this? And if we don't believe that it's the King of Pentacles is someone else, is the hermit coming through here? It's a plan. It's a plan for, for Harry to unburden herself, unburden herself, not him, herself, because she sees him as her knight in shining armour. Now, how how would that be if it isn't to do with money? Because Pentacles is all about money and assets. There's, what else could it be? Even if it wasn't Harry, we got the hermit here anyway. We got Harry. Queen of Wands. Seven of Wands reverse. The Six of Wands and the Five of Cups. Yeah, so she can basically walk away. She can't get over what's happened. She's blaming Harry for everything that's happening, that everything that she does is a non-event. It's failing. Everything that she does, she's blaming Harry. And it's indefensible. She's saying this is indefensible. Maybe he promised her the world, you know. With all the money. Maybe she, you know, because we've, we've now got and Queen of Wands come through on the next line, right at the top, it was her massive ego here. She seemed to think that all she had to do was put a name behind something and everything would happen. Well, no, it doesn't happen, you know. She's not the dolphin. Is Here we go. I'll put my dolphin and my shark on today. She's not the dolphin, despite the fact that dolphins, you know, <laughs> can be a bit ruthless, sure. Uh, sharks attack dolphins, so, you know. She really does believe that with her massive ego, her name will just carry and she'll make all this money all herself and she's now gone in, she did something with some lead-based company, um, based coffee company level or whatever it's called, Clever or whatever. Um, she's now dipped in, she's, you know, I don't know if she's Googled what um, A-plus listers invest in or I don't know if she's got a personal vendetta with Paltrow. I don't know, all right? But all I can see is that even though Gwen did put money into this firm and or into this, this um, raffia weaving, to me personally, I think that's wrong because these ladies aren't getting paid what they should be anyway. But that's only my personal opinion, okay? Um, Michael's come in on those coattails. I can't believe she has an involved ARIO on that, but she she can't. According to the trademark, she can't basically trade. She can't turn around and say, okay, well, you know, I want the left side of, of America or the right side of America or, or whatever. You can't trademark a landmark, you know? You can't turn around and say, you know, one of the local candle holders apparently 
that live in the area she makes candles for about thirty dollars and she has an american riviera brand you know like um she calls it that or that'd be like me calling you know one of the candles that i make perth you know that's fine you can call you can have whatever name you want but you can't trademark it you can't turn around and say well that's mine i'm taking all the money off you because you're using my name you can't do that not on a landmark What's wrong with her? Now she's blaming him. Ah, King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Justice Reverse, Page of Pentacles, and Justice is Reverse, and the High Priestess. Well, some sort of secret. Some sort of secret. I think she's trusted. Her. I think she's been advised by Doria here. I really do think she's been advised by Doria, but it's um, unjust. It's unjust. Definitely unjust because that's reverse. She's trying to merge here and she's not being successful. Why have we got the King of Cups here? Why have we got the King of Cups here? I think she really, really, really expects Charles to bail out um, Harry. I don't think she gets how things work. She doesn't want to know. She can't be told. Unless it's her mother. Unless it's her mother. And even if this isn't her, which I do believe it is, even if it isn't, let's go on a face value, not just on, on you know, astrology. Let's go on a face value. She wants to show that she's the earth mother, the home mother. And that she's going to own everything, every utensil, every dog biscuit, every every wine and tablecloth and napkins and spoons and pots and pans. She's going to own everything. It's all going to have her name in it that you need in your home. I really do not know what kind of ego has run away to that point. So now it's all Harry's fault. It's all Harry's fault. Five of Cups, uh, sorry, Five of Swords, the Emperor Reverse, the Four of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. With the Seven of Pentacles Reverse, complete failure here. Um, this is this is scary. This is scary. This 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 bit. She's got, she's got some sort of plan right from the get-go. When we go a little bit deep further, it's still a secret and I don't think even Harry knows about what she's got planned. She seems to think that she's winning. Uh, I'm sorry to say, but when you've got a reverse emperor and you've also got the reverse four of wands, she's actually waiting for Charles to pass on. Okay, I'm sorry, but I've got to call it what it is. And whatever at the time... Her darling boy husband is going to get, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. The Seven of Pentacles here reverse means that it's not happening. Nothing's growing. Or whatever you're planning, whatever seed you've put in place, whatever you're working on that's, you know, been so hard and it's taken so long to do, it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. It doesn't matter how big your ego is. It's not going to happen. But she believes, or she believed, past tense, that I think Harry had more money than, than he said he's going to, than he said he had or, you know, then she was able to get a hands on or whatever, you know, depending on if the money was tied up in trust and and they get, you know, instalments of whatever, which I do believe Charles has been funding. I do definitely believe that. Um just <sighs> this is why I don't like reading. I don't like reading on her. Sorry, I love reading, don't get me wrong, but I don't like reading on her. She released this REO brand. Not registered, not trademarked, not registered or anything like that on the back 
of the Diana Award announcements earlier this year. And now she's been told this week that even that scribble of a logo, she needs to tidy that up as well. <laughs> Ick, what a mess. And I really don't know what PR says. She's a dolphin, not a shark. Maybe she's got interns and or they're freshmen or something like that. You know, there's she's gone through that many stuff from a previous reading. What can I say? Maybe she can't get any good help anymore. <laughs> Literally, entertainment purposes only. On that note, yeah, um, it's horrific what she's done with the uh, Rwanda people. Horrific, and it's uh, well, she didn't start it. So don't get me wrong, she did not start it. But now people like me are noticing that these people are being exploited and they need to pay, be paid a lot more than, you know, what allegedly they're getting paid for their hard work, knowing how long it takes. And as for the own brand, I think she's marked it purposely, I really do. She's muckled it purposely and she's blaming all Harry here. It's all his fault. Everything's his fault. It's never hers. Got nothing to do with her ego. Huh. All right. On that note, please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye.